Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I know we're going to have a bit of fun with these style of videos and there's more of these to come if you enjoy them. But this is my 10 things I love and hate about my Audi A4. another set of Audi alloys that are better than these and that's the RS4 alloys but this suits this car perfect I wouldn't change it I lied I'm gonna change the alloys soon Quattro boys back me up if you will but these are one of the best handling four-wheel drive cars money can buy Audi fan, but I think the B6 Audi A4 Avant looks absolutely sexy as all hell, and I can't believe that Michael thinks that his is the best blue. Mmm, Alcantara. Audi do know how to treat a guy. In a previous episode on our channel, we painted this. Learn by my mistakes. Please don't paint chrome. I hate it. Also on a previous episode on our channel, I put a brand new rear light in. Why does it keep going wet for? Neutral. In gear. What a put in shifter. That's one. Number two on this saga is it's only a five speed Audi. Why would you do that to me? This is a motorway cruiser and I'm doing four and a half thousand revs at 70 mile an hour. Come on, guys. Mike has this issue as well. Unfortunately, I have the same issue. Come on, man. Also, on a previous episode, I've been trying to chase a boost leak. I still haven't found it, and it's really starting to get on my tits now. Going back to Alcantara. Audi have done an absolute phenomenal job of making sure the driver is so comfortable and it looks absolutely amazing. Such a nice place to be. Oh no, what am I doing? It's already low. <laughs> Front-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive. <laughs> me, personally, I'm a massive estate fan. But, you tell me another estate car that looks this good. Dent. 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 
big dent, don't look. Scabby. For an 18 year old car, it's bound to have dents. And this is why it's an ideal workhorse, which is one of the things that I love about it. Because then I don't have to worry about getting it damaged. I'm not the only person with an Audi A4, a van that has this issue. I see quite a few of them like it. Audi, why did you do that? Like, where's my exhaust? It's like, it's not even plush, you can't even see it. Why? How a normal car should operate on the handbrake. <laughs> no obstructions. How an Audi's operates. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Audi, what were you thinking when you designed a really complicated uh, blade design and not give the patents to all the local car parts places so I can't buy windscreen wipers unless I go to Audi and they're 70 quid? Screw you! Imagine cruising down the country lanes. You know, I've got a pudding shifter, so you know, annoying. And then when you go and change gear, and you let off the clutch and go, because it locks through the four wheel drive system, it's really annoying. I think there might be a problem. Audi make absolutely phenomenal sounding engines. You know, you've got the, the three litre V6. Got the 3.5 4 litre V8s, stuff like that. And then you got this. <coughs> right, guys, I hope you enjoyed my 10 things I love and hate about my Audi. All jokes aside, this is a phenomenal car and I absolutely love it. It is a great daily workhorse, it does the job and it looks phenomenal. The sound ain't too bad, we can rectify that with an exhaust and we will do that in future episodes. So if there's anything that you agreed with or disagreed with, comment below, please. And please be assured to subscribe. And uh, I hope you have a fantastic day. Enjoy your coronavirus. <laughs>